try as they may, John McCain's campaign staff cannot control everything. During Monday's town hall meeting in Denver, the very same one where the diminutive sign-carrying librarian was escorted away, McCain faced an unexpected challenger inside. Our third story on the countdown, John McCain's war record as a senator. I see a person with a funny hat on uh, that says Vietnam veteran, so I'd love to recognize you first, sir. A joke that fell flat right out of the gate. Senator, uh, veterans and all Americans admire your service in Vietnam. We haven't heard an explanation of why you voted against uh, your colleagues' proposals to increase health care funding in 2004, 5, 6, and 7 uh, when we had troops coming back from two wars. Instead of the answer the questioner is looking for, McCain now takes credit for the GI Bill and takes a political shot at Jim Webb. On the issue of the uh, GI Bill, I was disappointed that Senator Webb didn't support making it permanent. And Senator Graham and I and other veterans will be looking to try to extend that to all veterans, not just 2001. I hope you'll urge Senator Webb and others to, to, uh, to agree with that. Wait, what about what the guy asked about? Voting record? If anyone in the room was still wondering about that, we got a little whitewash. I've received every award from every major veterans organization in America, but the reason why I have a perfect voting record from organizations like the Veterans of Foreign Wars, the American Legion, and all the other veterans service organizations is because of my support of them. McCain's trying his best, but clearly this soldier is going to go on fighting. You do not have a perfect voting record by the DAV and the VFW. That's where these votes are recorded. And the votes were proposal that they were proposals uh, by your colleagues in the Senate to increase health care funding of the VA in 2003, 4, 5, and 6 for troops returning from Iraq and Afghanistan, and you voted against those proposals. I can give the specific Senate votes, the numbers of those Senate votes, right now. Senator McCain, now on the defensive, takes his final shot. I thank you, and I'll be glad to examine what your version of my record is. But uh, again, I've been endorsed in every election by all of the veterans organizations that do that. I've been supported by them, and I've received uh, their highest awards from all of those organizations. So I guess uh, they don't know something you know. Let's turn to Paul Rykoff, Executive Director of Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America, also the author of Chasing Ghosts, a really good memoir about his time uh, serving in Iraq. Hi, Paul. It's nice to see you. Hey, Rachel. Great to be with you. Paul, first up, what's your reaction to just seeing that exchange, to seeing that tape? It was a more than spirited discussion. Are, are you surprised to see McCain's floppability, his sensitivity on this issue? I am, but I think he should be sensitive about it because his voting record is not very strong. Uh, the disabled American veterans gave him a 20% rating out of 100. Uh, our organization, the IAVA, gave him a, a D rating uh, in the last voting session. He does not have a perfect, perfect voting record from the VFW. He's consistently voted against increased funding at the VA, and he's been a major opponent of the new GI Bill. So he doesn't really have a strong record to stand on with regard to his veterans' positions. As you said, your group, Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America, on your legislative scorecard, you gave McCain a D. In contrast, you gave Obama a B plus, the disabled American vets. As you said, they say that McCain voted with them just 20 percent of the time. Obama gets an 80. And the Vietnam Veterans of America, they got McCain down for nine votes with them, 15 votes against them. Why does he keep claiming that all the veterans groups have given him their highest awards? Why is he kind of able to repeat this claim? I think it's because a lot of people don't dig down and really examine the votes. Veterans votes are not sexy. Sitting on the Veterans Affairs Committee is, is not a very exciting spot to be in, but it's critically important to the 25 million veterans in America, and especially to the almost 2 million veterans who served in Iraq and Afghanistan. And specifically on the GI Bill, uh, Senator McCain opposed it throughout the process. This has been in the works for 18 months. So Senator McCain saying he supports the GI Bill is like uh, Reverend Jesse Jackson saying he's helping Senator Obama's presidential campaign. <laughs> It just doesn't match up here. It seems to me that veterans themselves, veterans are the ones who have been willing to say there's a difference between McCain's own heroic service as a POW and him having good judgment as a politician about getting us in and out of wars. And there's a difference between McCain himself being a veteran and him doing right by veterans as a politician. Do you think, Paul, that, that veterans are less intimidated by the, the politics around military issues while other people tend to see it as a... Uh, I guess walking on eggshells. They tend to treat the issue with too much sensitivity. 
Well, I do. I, th I think veterans are a political jump ball. They're not beholden to any political party, Republican or Democrat. Senator Obama is going to have to work for their votes this year, and so is Senator McCain. Uh, because he's a Vietnam veteran, he does earn our respect. He has a tremendous understanding of combat. He understands post-traumatic stress disorder and issues like that. But he's going to have to put his votes where his mouth is, and specifically on the GI Bill. He was warned. He knew that if he voted against this GI Bill, there'd be a political price to pay. Yet he still, when 75 other senators voted for the GI Bill, he was at a fundraiser in California. There were 53 original sponsors of the GI Bill. Those are the 53 senators that should get credit. Ten of them were Republicans, people like Senator Warner, Senator Hagel. They were out in front of this issue early, and Senator McCain was not. So he really can't take credit for being a strong advocate for the GI Bill and a lot of other veterans' issues. And yet, of course, we saw the president call out and thank President uh, Senator McCain by name uh, when he did sign that bill. Paul Rykoff, yeah. Executive Director of Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Rachel. Anytime.